Paul? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, considering the middle name of my great-great-grandfather, uh, Joseph Francis Budnick? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there was an emperor of Austria and a king of Hungary, Francis Joseph I? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Held sway during the longest and most trying reigns in history. His father was the Archduke Francis Charles. Uh -huh. His uncle was Ferdinand I. Was Emperor of Austria from 1835 to 1948. Yes. Now, born in Vienna, Francis began early to learn the languages of the Germans, the Margiers. Yes. The Poles, the Czechs, and the Italians, <laughs> who made up the Austrian monarchy. Oh, <laughs> But it says down here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the years that fall were filled with personal national troubles for Francis Joseph, or should I say Joseph Francis Badek, <laughs> to take his life. 1859, in a war with France and Sardinia, mm -hmm, he lost the province of Lombardy, <laughs> which was ceded to Italy. Mm -hmm, and at the conclusion of the Seven Weeks War of 1866, <laughs> the leadership of Germany went to Perugia. Oh, is that right? <laughs> He had maintained an, an army, maintained an ambitious foreign policy, <laughs> had increased the army, and had looked well to the ways of his administration. <laughs> but discontent <laughs> rumbled beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. In face of a financial crisis, he was finally uh, obliged yes, <laughs> to come to terms with his subjects by conceding them numerous constitutional and parliamentary rights, <laughs> and thus forming Austria-Hungary. Yeah. 1867, his brother Maximilian, Emperor of Mexico from 1864, was executed by the Republicans of that country. Yes. Now, in 1889, just two years after my great-grandfather immigrated, yes, Francis Joseph's only son committed suicide. Mm. In 1897, his wife was assassinated by an Italian anarchist. Yes. His nephew, Francis Ferdinand, heir to the throne, and his wife were killed by Serbians in 1914 at Sarajevo. <laughs> Incident caused a break between Serbia and uh, Austria-Hungary and led to World War I. <laughs> Now, Francis Joseph was devoted to the welfare of his people. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this this empire of Perugia in uh, 1885, yeah. you know, you often wonder, why do you name a child the name that he receives? Mm -hmm. I think his name was Joseph Francis Budnick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the Budnick, was that his actual biological parents, or was it uh, Joseph Francis well, how did he get his name? <clears throat> you know, this idea of uh, not knowing, yes, I'm going to want to know why they called him Joseph Francis. Yes. And sometimes when parents are concerned about their their kingdom, ah, <laughs> it's possible Maximilian, my goodness, Francis Joseph's, oh, <laughs> Did any of these royal families have sex with anybody other than their individual wives? <laughs> now, I know. How did you get your name? Franco Prussian. Oh, look at here. <laughs> the war between France and the German states under Prussian leadership lasted from 1870 to 1871. <laughs> and he was born in 1875. Yeah. Immigrated to the United States in 1877. <laughs> Why did his parents name him Joseph Francis? <laughs> Foreign policies. The incident actually started the war. Current government of Spain offered a vacant Spanish throne to Prince Leopold, <laughs> distant member of the royal Hohenlohen family of Perugia, King William of Perugia, promised formally that no prince of his family would ever become king of Spain. <laughs> Now, you could really appreciate on December 27th, Paris 14th, 1871, the German Empire claimed 10 days later. <laughs> now, uh, five, 5 billion francs? Pew! That's a lot of money back then. <laughs> Two major changes. Bismarck's United German State became one of the great military powers. <laughs> Is there any royal family that has any knowledge of my... <laughs> Great great grandfather, Ooch, Joseph Francis, Pooch. <laughs> because my thought was as I go through the actual royal families of the world, yes, she does. <laughs> let's say that you're the president of France. Poop. 
them. And there's some royal family members that are still involved in the politics of France. Yes. Or you're the new king of Spain. You just got that job seven years ago. You know, you often wonder why a child was given the name that they were. <laughs> Joseph Francis, or is it Francis Joseph, last name Budnick? <clears throat> Obviously, he would have had to have the name of his immigrant family. Yes. Does anybody know if my actual biological great-grandfather <laughs> should have had a different fucking last name? Well, I'm telling you right now! <laughs> <laughs> 